Animals are incredible. This hungry cat went to a store with a leaf to buy fish. Then the seller did something unbelievable. Come check out this story with us. Joe knew most of the customers that came to his shop, but when one strange customer came in with a leaf in his mouth, Joe was understandably shocked. There were a few customers that came and went, but many had been buying fish from his family since he was a child. One regular visitor was a little bit different though. Every day, a cat would come over to the window and sit outside watching him. Sometimes he would even come inside. The first time he came inside though, one of the customers chased him out, but he kept coming back. And even though he'd leave just as soon as someone approached him, he seemed to be happy just watching the people do their transactions. Joe didn't know why, but the cat didn't bother anyone and he never tried to steal a fish, so he let him be. Joe loved animals, and especially cats, so having a cat come for a visit at his shop was pretty great. But what happened next was even more special. One day, the cat wandered in with a leaf in its mouth. This time, he came to sit on the counter and placed the leaf there. Then he sat waiting expectantly. At first, Joe was busy with customers, but then it all clicked into place. You won't believe what the fish seller did next. It's pretty unbelievable. Joe figured out that the cat brought the leaf for a very good reason. He must have noticed that all the customers gave something and then they received their fish in return. A bill or a leaf, is there really that much difference? Not enough for the kitty to notice. Joe had two choices. He could treat the cat as a paying customer or he could chase him out. What he did was shocking. Joe decided that he wouldn't turn any paying customer away, even if they were only paying with a leaf. He gave the cat a nice piece of fish for his troubles, which the feline grabbed before running off. Joe just hoped the rest of his customers wouldn't pick up on the fact that they could pay with leaves. But once the cat understood he could trade a leaf for a fish, he quickly became a regular customer. Every single day, he would bring his leaf to the fishmonger and get a little fish or a piece of fish for his dinner. They started to call the cat Sushi, and they all got attached to him. They even put some fresh water outside for him. Clients and workers all knew the cat and welcomed him among them. Joe got into the habit of keeping a little fish on the side for his new friend. But one day, that tiny fish would fill his heart with terror. It was a really busy day at the store. People came and went, but even if they all knew to keep an eye out, they didn't see their favorite furry customer come in at all. By the end of the day, Joe was starting to close the store when he realized that the little fish was still on ice and hadn't been claimed for that day. Why hadn't the cat come in to get his food? Joe had been working since very early in the morning, and all he wanted to do was go to his home right next to the shop and get some rest. But his worry about the cat overshadowed his fatigue. He wouldn't be able to rest until he knew that Sushi was okay. But where would he start searching? First, he started around the shop and searched in the park across the road. Then he climbed in his car and drove in the neighborhood. The cat couldn't be very far since he came every day. If Joe could just spot him running around, then he could relax and go home. Instead, he got something very different. As he was turning a corner, his eye caught something just on the side of the road. The familiar body of a tabby cat. But the cat wasn't moving. He was curled into a ball and it was almost a miracle that Joe spotted him at all. He looked so small where he lay. Joe pulled to the side of the road and got out. It was definitely Sushi. But the side of his body was bloody. For a moment, Joe's heart skipped a beat. He was almost afraid to check if the cat was breathing. Then Sushi turned his head and he looked at Joe. His eyes seemed to be begging for help. Sushi was always full of life and his eyes always seemed mischievous to Joe. Now they were just full of pain. It looked like a car had run him over and the cat had just enough strength to crawl out of the road. He seemed close to death. Joe scooped him up and carried him in his jacket back to the car. He searched the internet and found a vet in the next town over. When Joe phoned them, he got their voicemail. They were closed. Joe lay his head on the steering wheel and almost cried. He didn't know how to help the cat whom he considered a friend now. 
Then the voice message on the vet's answering service went on to give an after-hour emergency service. There was hope after all. As quickly as he could, Joe drove to the town. He was frightened that there would be traffic that would slow him down. Sushi's breath was hampered and that made Joe hold his own breath. He didn't know if he was going to be on time. He got to the vet. Joe had never been so relieved to see other people in his life. They took Sushi from him and checked out his injuries. The poor cat had to be in a lot of pain. He had an ugly wound and had lost a lot of blood. He also had a few broken ribs and one of them had punctured one of his lungs. That's why he was breathing so heavily. They had to perform an emergency operation to help him. He made it through the procedure but was still in rough shape. The vet told Joe that he had to go home and if Sushi made it through the night, he might have a shot. But they made no promises. The cat was very sick. The next day, Joe had to open his shop first and then he left his employee in charge and went to find out what was happening with Sushi. The vet and Joe went to the back. There was Sushi, still alive but on oxygen and with tubes coming out of him. He looked so sad, but at least he was alive. They had a bit more hope than they had the night before. For days, it was touch and go, but eventually they could take him off oxygen and he started to improve. He even started to get excited when Joe went to visit him. It was amazing. When they told Joe that Sushi could start to eat solid foods again, he brought him something special. Small pieces of fish cut up into little bites that the cat could enjoy. It gave him great joy to see how much Sushi enjoyed the fish. The time finally came when Sushi was ready to go home, but the problem was that he didn't have one. They checked and the cat wasn't microchipped. They tried everywhere to find his family but no one came forward. That meant that the cat had nowhere to go. They wouldn't want to let him go just to live on the street again so he would go to a shelter. What happened next is seriously heartwarming. The day that he was set to be released, Joe came to get Sushi. He wasn't going to allow him to go to some shelter. Joe adopted the cat and took him home. He had set up a whole section for the cat. A scratching post, a cat bed, and a sandbox. But the best part was that he had bought Sushi a bunch of cat toys. But his two favorites were two soft toys, a squeaky fish, and a leaf. From then on, Sushi had a happy home with Joe, and he had all the fish he could ever eat. He didn't even have to pay for them. Plus, he often got to hang out with his friends at the fish shop too before going home to his nice warm bed. The customer had become family. Thanks for watching. Join us again for more great stories.